Good morning and welcome to Houston, Texas for Retro Palooza. This is my first time at the Houston edition of Retro Palooza. I've been to the Arlington version many times. You guys have probably seen me go there. But if you didn't know, Retro Palooza does two shows a year the other one being here in Houston. So this is my first time at this show. I'm excited to check it out. Definitely has a bit of a different vibe to it, but still looks very cool. There's some familiar faces here that I'm excited to see. I've got my table all set up over here. Got the awesome banner. I got some books. Hopefully we'll uh, meet some Masters fans today that are excited about the book, uh, but also, we're gonna do the thing. We're gonna walk around. We're gonna look for some toys. Now I am told by my good buddy Chief that this particular one, the Houston Retropalooza, is a lot more heavy with the video games than it is the toys. He told me that there weren't a lot of toys here, but the doors haven't opened yet. I'm already peeking around. I can see some things. I can see some things. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the show floor because we're still about 45 minutes away from the public coming in. My table's all set up. I'm just gonna see what I can spy out here. We're gonna do some toy hunting. Come with me. Come with me, friends. Pixel Dan will find the toys. It's Chief! We got some cool stuff going on right With now. With some cool stuff going on right now. I wanted to show Dan something that I picked up. Um, I wanted to show him this confine. Oh, okay, I'm gonna follow Chief over here. <laughs> what is this? Actually, I've been wanting to see this in person, so I'm really glad you have this here. Mm -hmm. So this is the third party turtle van that just recently came out. So this is sized for your seven inch scale figures, your NECAs, your Super 7s, but this is not a NECA or a Super 7 right. turtle van. This is the third of the party. turtle vans that have just been released. But this is the this is the third party version. I have not seen this in person. So did, I told you this this part did not come in the mail, so I had somebody make this for me. Oh, is this like three D printed or yeah. something? Okay. Three so D print. You, I'm so you, you can like um, it's tape, but I didn't tape it because I want to still paint it. Because they technically can't sell it with the Ninja Correct. Turtles logo. Okay, right. I got so, you. I got you. There's a little switch down here. If you were to push it, the lights turn. Look on. at that. So and then these That's are. Pretty Pretty awesome. Look at these, these adjust. Look at this. Dude, That's, the size of this thing is amazing. Nice. Oh, that flips all in. Oh, okay, Look, so this totally so this folds in. in. This folds in like that. There's some like uh, the there's little issues like that, but that's no big oh, thing. Oh, I see. See I see. how it hits the uh, yeah, kind of. But uh, you know, it's not that big of a deal. So this just just folds in like that, closes the door, boom. Wow. The other side also opens. The back door. Is this like holsters for, for weapons? The weapons, okay. the weapon racks. Okay. And then back here. This the is what it looks like closed up. That's pretty cool. It? It's an interesting amalgamation between the old Playmates toy and the animation. Yeah. It's kind of like they mix the two together for this. I like the cannons on top. Right, you hear that click? Yeah. I love that click. The plastic, the plastic actually feels pretty good on this too. So, and like I said, the the the, the canopy opens up. Wow. And then if you turn it over, the doors back here open up. I mean, this thing is amazing. That's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. You don't have any of the actual. I don't. You I do didn't. have. You got a vintage Donnie here. <laughs> well, like I want to at least show like the scale. Yeah. So, like you know, the old turtles were five inches. You know, the NECAs and the Super 7s are more around six, seven inches. You can see just like the size there. It's huge. Yeah, look at, look put, at that. Put Donnie. Hey, check that out. That's pretty crazy. That is, that's pretty awesome, man. And, and if you notice, if you open the front, look at the room in there for that. Yeah, there actually is a it's lot of space. Insane. And look at the, 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 I think the steering, the, the, the handle turns up and down, the lever. Wow. So they did really good detail. Interesting. It's just, it's crazy that we got three different turtle vans kind of like all went on sale at the same too. time. But it, this was the first one in hand for anybody. Right. Is this one right here. I got this it's one really right cool. Away. Well, I'm glad you have this here because I've really been curious about this. So good. it's cool yeah, to see this in person. I'm glad you got to see it and got to check out the features and all the all the play all the play features that come with it turtle the, power the detail on it is, is, is i love it that's cool chief well i hope 
I hope you find a home for it today. I, I swear if someone buys this today, you will be happy. <laughs> Chief's got some other really cool stuff here. Like, look at this. He's got a bag of the Super Mario Brothers 3 Happy Meal toys, all sealed. And their their thing. The boxes. Look at the boxes. Oh, and they're different boxes. Oh, this is really cool, man. Oh, and that's these are, these that's are, awesome. These are the ducktail ones. Oh my gosh, it's like. I remember this like yesterday, like how excited I was to run to McDonald's to remember? get some Mario toys. Yeah, man. Who oh, kept so the cool. boxes, remember? Dude, I know. Who keeps No, <laughs> not me. <laughs> that is cool, man. That is so cool. And then he's also got some of the applause PVCs, which are also fantastic. The Mario on the beanstalk. This one's great too. The mushroom. And a couple of McDonald's changeables in here, which are also awesome. Very cool. And look at it. These are the the, the oh yeah the the the, 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 the ducktails. Duck You've also got the ducktails with, with the boxes. With all look at all the boxes. Unbelievable, dude. Did you just get these out of a collection? Somebody like that's so cool. I got those in a garage sale. A garage about sale. About three years ago, and I'm uh, just now bringing them to them. And, and Amazing. Amazing. Good things in here. There's a dollar figure box over here. What's in here? What? Look at this. Yeah, there's some things in here, bro. Oh, there's a Mortal Kombat Johnny Cage in here. Yeah. G.I. Joe. Style. This dude's shiny. What is he? Uh, that's Beetle Beetle Beetleboard. But he looks like a he looks like a bootleg Beetleboard. Yeah, probably is. Oh man, they even got like some little bootleg Ranger dudes. Kind of had a oh a battle troll. Battle trolls in here. Cool. What is this dude from? It's got to be like a Fisher Price, Play School, one of those lines. Nice, Total Justice. Some uh, pop culture company. I know you're into these. What? Are, yeah, those are pretty cool. What is this? Oh, uh, it's just like one of those old uh, dollar store ninjas. Oh, here's, a, here's another one of those. Ranger dudes. <laughs> That's cool. Too late. Yeah. Let's go. Power Rangers. Yeah. They're the best. It's an old Ben 10 Wii game. My kid likes Ben 10. Maybe I should grab that. Three bucks? It's a bunch of good. There's a bunch of Wii games here. I haven't bought any games for the Wii for a while, but. Maybe I should. Got a bunch of the old Toy Biz Marvel Legends over here. Very yellowed. These old uh, these old clamshell cases. Doctor Strange. Nightcrawler. I remember being so excited when that Nightcrawler came out originally. Oh, these are some of the uh, Barnyard Commandos fast food premiums. Some food fighters. Most of them are missing their helmets. Very cool. Wow. 50 on the sealed Skeeto from Sectars. That's amazing. Some good, there's some aliens, Kenner aliens. Oh, we got some of the Trend Masters wind up, wind up Godzilla toys. Those are red. Oh, awesome. The Godzilla and an egg. It's Mecha Godzilla and the egg. That is so awesome. I got it's a Mecha Ghidorah.
It's pretty awesome. Wind up, wind up mad balls. The horn head. I didn't realize they did a zombie moon night. <sighs> 50. Wow, I had no idea. Oh. Biker mice. Well, there's some serious goodies in here. There's some battle beasts down here. There's biker mice from Mars. With this helmet, there's a couple of them here. I love the bright colors on this one. Mantis alien, best Kenner alien. There's a Burbill. 50. You never see these though. I don't ever run into Burbills from Thundercats. That is pretty cool. It's one of the old Mad Balls head poppers, which are also fantastic. The Toxic Crusaders. This was always. I had this one as a kid. He played right along with my Ninja Turtles quite often. So he's one of the ones I'm most nostalgic for. But they got some some really really good ones here. I love the love the Rangers. Radiation Ranger. We got Toxie. Good stuff. There's a Rock Lord. It's a gray little table of stuff here. Marvel Fundo figure maker. I love it. Oh my God, homies. Dude, there was a minute where these were so popular. And where I remember where I was working at the time, like everybody had these all over their desks at work. So at lunch breaks, we would like run out to the vending machines at close by stores and we would just pump quarters in the machines to see what homies we'd get. And we had them all over our desks, dude. It was crazy. These things were so popular for a minute. It's amazing. So he's also got an amazing selection of Build-A-Figures over here, which is awesome. Look at that, he's got the old Toy Biz Galactus. I used to have this one. He's got the Apocalypse, he's got Mojo. There's the Sentinel. I actually still have my original Sentinel from when I first built it, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, really, really great collection of these here. And oh, he's got some Masters of the WWE hidden down here. 15 a piece, that's under retail, right? Whoa, he's got a carded Chip the Ripper from Food Fighters. Looks like that's got an $80 price tag on it. Oh, hey, look, it's my boy. I've already got like this figure like two or three times at home, <laughs> but I love it. It's Moon Knight's first figure. Ghostbusters mini traps, 35. Got She-Hulk. Very cool. Oh, these carded Kenner Beetlejuice are fantastic. Exploding Beetlejuice. Oh, I love this one. Also, what's interesting, how his, his outfit is yellow and blue instead of black and white. 25. There's Showtime Beetlejuice. Spinhead. And Adam Maitland. Nice, these are awesome. Hmm, hmm. I might be taking a Beetlejuice home. Oh man, I wanted to show you guys some of the cool things that have been given to me. Um, so one of my viewers brought me this amazing art card, and I think he picked it up here at the show. So I'm gonna go find the actual booth so I can show you guys the artist, but I think it's just such awesome artwork of He-Man and She-Ra. And then this was given to me by the actual artist who did this, which is absolutely amazing. I love this little Skeletor, check him out, yeah. And like I said, I know both of these artists are here, so I'm gonna run out on the show floor, I'm gonna show you guys so you can check them out for yourselves, but these are amazing and I absolutely love this, so cool. Okay, so it's like 3.30 in the afternoon now. This day flew by, and I'm finally just now getting away from the table. I don't know what's left out here, <laughs> but we're gonna walk around and we're gonna see if there's some stuff. You can see it's totally getting towards the end of the day. It's thinning out in here. Maybe this will be a good time to find some stuff that we haven't seen yet. So let's go. So here's that gorgeous He-Man and She-Ra art that I showed you guys was gifted to me. So I wanted to make sure that you guys check out the art of Julia Mann. 
drops all of the information here on socials, and you can see some of the gorgeous art here. Look, it's Prison Mike. I mean, come on, that's amazing. And Moon Knight's over here, another one of my favorites. So, really, really amazing stuff. So definitely check her out. Hey, so I showed you guys that amazing Skeletor artwork, so I wanted to make sure I showed you guys that this is Frank's information, so you can go check him out online. And he also <laughs> doodled this amazing, ugly Sonic picture for my son Spencer. So, amazing stuff. Definitely go check out Frank's artwork online. I mean, check this out. Look, we got some awesome turtle stuff here. We got Donkey Kong. It's really, really great stuff. So, always love highlighting the awesome artists here at these shows. morning it is day number two of retro palooza here in houston it's gonna be a bit of a shorter day for me because my flight is early this afternoon but we're still gonna go ahead and wrap things up today i'll try to make some more rounds just to see if there's anything else cool out there but it's been a very very enjoyable weekend so doors are gonna be opening soon it's real kind of quiet and chill in here right now gotta love that sunday morning vibe at a show so Let's go ahead and get this going. Let's get this started. Let's wrap up Retro Palooza. Some Dick Tracy trading cards. Check this out though. Look. Tops Empire Strikes Back Puffy stickers. How cool is that? Got a couple packages over here, so some must be some new old stock. Your favorite Star Wars characters. They definitely look like they're like, oh yeah, Yoda kind of fell down. Like age, age is not treating them well. Still pretty cool. So I just met the awesome ladies over at Geeky Gorgeous and they had a really great arrangement of like geek inspired jewelry. Some of it is even handmade over there. Uh, but I wanted to show it off because I did end up picking up some awesome stuff to take home to Stina. Um, obviously she's a big Disney fan, so I think she's gonna really like this, but love seeing that sort of stuff. So definitely wanted to give Geeky Gorgeous a shout out as well. And uh, urge you guys to check them out or seek them out at a convention sometime. There's a bunch of Transformers over here. Blaster and Soundwave. Very nice. Slugfest. Sweet. Oh. Check that out. That's awesome. Pipes. Look how nice these are, too. That one's really nice. Yeah, yeah that's real nice. Yeah, roll bar. So cool. You checked. Love the cassettes. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. Rewind. This is a beachcomber. It's gonna fall over on us. Oh, here I get him. Yeah. Awesome. Huffer. Beachcomber, Huffer. Very cool. Wow. Nice bright colors. Love it. Astro train. The triple changer. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I remember in the movie that was like all the Decepticons like rode in and they, and they, they, they changed into the space shuttle. It's so great. Yeah, I mean like I know I talk about this all the time, but I didn't have a lot of Transformers as a kid, so that so, sometimes these still feel so foreign to me yeah. because I don't have a lot of experience with them, but they are 
very cool. Yeah. Always love to see them. Also, this R2-D2 telephone <laughs> is really rad with droid movements and sound effects. That's awesome. Oh, check it out. He's got one of the... These are one of the Hasbro Nintendo Trophy figures. These are awesome. I run into these every now and then, but I always love seeing them. These are like some of the earliest Nintendo toys. Uh, when I was a kid and I really, really, really wanted action figures of Mario because I loved the game so much, really all we could find were those applause PVCs that we saw here at the show also and these. Um, and I never got any of these as a kid, probably because they didn't do anything, but now I love them. I think they're so cool. And then also, Rob the Robot's just chilling over here. Check it out. Look at him go. It's so cool. So there's a bunch of uh, Star Wars Micro Machines in here, and you know what's cool about this? Uh, we just got the announcement that Jazzwares is bringing back the Star Wars Micro Machines stuff. They're doing the Action Fleet things. But still, there's a bunch of original ones in here. Pretty cool. Looks like it's mostly Star Destroyers. There's a bunch of those in here, and a couple of the Y-Wings. But still very cool. Hey, here's some goodies over here. Oh man, I love the colors on this. Here I go looking at bright G.I. Joe stuff again. This is awesome. Hey, Bashasaurus. Wow, I don't even <laughs> I don't even know which Batman that is. Oh, this is like a Halo figure too. Oh my gosh, these old Ziggy dolls. I used to have an old Ziggy doll like this when I was a kid. Crazy. Ooh, turtle troll. I'll check out this. Definitely looks like a vintage Thundercats belt buckle. It's metal. $10. And then we got. The Mighty Thor. That is cool. Oh, it's an alien. It's Mr. Incredible. I love it. <laughs> Gus Gus. My wife would love this. Stone Protector. Love it. Also some trolls. Some nice creepy trolls. Oh, I love the fashion genie. That's great. Amazing. That's so cool. Oh, he's got the Hawaiian shirt and the goofy hat. Oh, that's great. That's so great. So this is actually pretty cool. This is a Pound Puppies doghouse. I think it's got a carry handle on there. Got the old Pound Puppy in here. I had, of course, had one of these when I was a kid. My son has one now because you can still buy these at Target, but like, I love this vintage Pound Puppies doghouse. That is really cool. These things are unbelievable. Look at these. This is so, so we've got a sealed WWF Power Grip Squirts. Power Grip Squirts. So we've got uh, a loose Hogan. Look at this thing. Look at the face on this guy. And then we've got a sealed Ultimate Warrior. These are unbelievable. So I guess you, you would just squeeze here and it squirts, <laughs> squirts the water out of their mouths. These are amazing. God, I love weird stuff like this. Oh my God, look at the art on the back of them all vomiting on each other. Oh my God, I love it. That is so unbelievable. These are really cool. He's got a whole group of My Pet Monster cells, animation cells. Look at this. Wow, these are really cool. There's a big batch of them here too. 50 with the monster and 25 if they don't have the monster. I mean, come on, everybody's gonna want the monster, right? Oh, there's some framed ones in here too. Look at that. 
That is cool. Oh, hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my. Twenty-five. Got a couple issues of Masters of the Universe magazine, and I actually don't have a lot of these. Oh, I do. There is a coloring book, which is awesome. I do actually have this coloring book at home, and here's another one. Oh, now including Shira. I always love this Earl Nora Mart too. Skeletor on the elephant, He-Man on the lion. So cool. So 25 each on these, which I get. I just don't know if I want to pay. That's that's a lot for three issues. But I don't have any of these. I don't know. I'm going to think about this. I might look these over. Maybe I'll grab one. Maybe. Maybe. Cool to see them. I don't run into these very often. So here's one of the X-Men pocket comics. The Danger Room playset. I loved these <laughs> when I was younger. I think I have some of these at home still. I don't remember if I have this one specifically. Pretty certain I have Asteroid M. I'm pretty certain I have the Jet Hanger. Spy missions, maybe I don't have the Danger Room. You can see how they would all connect together there. They're, they're like kind of like Mighty Max or Polly Pockets, but there's so much less on the inside of them. You could tell that they were trying to play into that trend, though. Still very cool for what they are. Also, I definitely remember the Steel Mutants. I run into these every now and then. Diecast Metal minifigures. It's Professor X and Magneto, but what I really like is this Maximum Carnage pack. Spider-Man, Carnage, and Venom. This was a hot thing for a minute. All this red packaging on everything. So cool. I don't even remember there being young blood minifigures. These are about the same same size as the Steel Mutants, maybe a little bit bigger. That's pretty interesting. We've also got a young blood bendy figure. All right. So I caved, and I did end up buying one of these. Um, I took a little bit of time to kind of look through them. Obviously the cover's not, I mean it's not bad, but it, it does got like, you know, some scuffs and everything over here. But this is the full 1986 issue. And I ended up grabbing this one in particular because um, it does have the poster intact. Let me kind of get to, I can show you guys. So here, look at this, we can actually fold out Look at that, that beautiful Earl Norum artwork of the Blaster Hawk and the Fright Fighter flying in front of Eternia. I mean, gosh, this is absolutely beautiful. But on top of that poster in here, there's also, in this one I can't really see all the way, That's it's a book cover of Monstroid. And uh, it's also more, look at it, you can kind of see it in there, more beautiful Earl Norum artwork, but it's meant to be a book cover. I don't know if you guys remember those, but you would pull this out and you would fold it around like a textbook at school so that you've got cool artwork on your book. Plus, I mean, this is just amazing. Look at this beautiful artwork in here, this comic. Got the Eternia playset. Look at, look at King His here on the microphone. I mean, but this was this was right at the tail end of the line, obviously. They're heavily promoting Eternia. Um, you know, it's just so, so incredibly cool. Check out the snake escape maze in here. This awesome artwork. I love that we're incorporating, like, look, the hover robots from Filmation. We've also got the snake men here. Too bad. Got Skeletor up there with his bone thrown and Evil Lynn. Uh, look at Spikeor just sitting here mashing a turkey leg. Oh, Stinkor is sitting in the poor dungeon just being stinky. <laughs> is this Webster down here? <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Oh, and look. Uh, whatever kid had this actually traced the King Hiss. Connect the dots. Really, this is just awesome. I don't know. Wave of nostalgia. I can't wait to really sit down and flip through this and read it. Look at this Pineapple Kids Club. Super gift ideas. Look at this. Look at this. These little ghosts have gotten actually pretty popular over the past few years, the glow ghosts. I've seen lots of people collecting these. It's kind of cool to see a little advert for them in here. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy I grabbed this. I also ended up getting from the same guys another Beetlejuice figure. Uh, this one's not in as great a shape as the exploding Beetlejuice I bought this morning. 
box is actually a little more dinged up on this, but uh, I don't know, that might actually make me want to open them up a little bit more. <laughs> oh, you know me, I don't, I don't keep a lot of my figures in the package. You might, uh, might open up uh, Adam Maitland here and put him with my Ghostbusters, because I kind of want to I kind of want to mess with this little mask here. Recreate the scene from the movie. So yeah, that's uh, it's pretty cool. What is this terrifying thing? <laughs> ah! Oh my god, that's horrifying. <laughs> that is insane. What, do you know when this came out even? 1978. 78. Has a year tag on it. Right. Unbelievable. Right there. It's faded, but you can still make it out. Yeah. 70. Ronald McDonald himself. Ronald McDonald himself. Yikes. Look at that face. So I don't know if I just missed it, but I wasn't even aware of this particular Ghostbusters ectoplasm. Now this is being sold as a whole set, but still it's really cool because it's a whole row of blue, whole row of black, purple, whatever that is, green and pink. I don't think I ever saw this, at least in my area, but look at these, they're like in test tubes. And there's a little minifigure inside, like a little ghost. Look at that guy. I think that's a terror dog. A terror dog head, maybe? Oh, yeah, 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 there they are. They're, they show them right there on the box. Stay Puff Slimer, terror dog, and, and, and the Ecto, apparently. That is crazy. I almost wonder if the, uh, the figures are, like, deteriorating in there. The bottom of the green one here looks kind of nuts. I don't know. Oh, wait, no. It's the Ecto. I see him. It's all the way up here in the middle of the tube. See if I can get a good good focus on the tube there. There you go, see the car? That's crazy. That's awesome, I don't think I've ever seen these before. Chief, the turtle van's still here. I know, that's a surprise to me, my friend. Oh man. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it, I got nowhere to put that. But it's about that time, my friends. It is Sunday afternoon, I've gotta head to the airport, but it ended up being an amazing Sunday at the show. The panel was so much fun. Shout out to every single person that came to the panel, especially to the Houston area Masters of the Universe fans. It was awesome meeting them. They all came with their shirts. It was just an incredible experience getting to chat and talk about this stuff that we all love so much. It was so, so very much fun. So, Retropalooza Houston, in the books. Excellent show. Definitely be doing this again some point in the future. Until next time, my friends.